Good morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We are your go-to resource for all things health, nutrition, prescription drugs, lifestyle issues, which at the end of the day are really the, the big problem when it comes to how we live, uh, uh, how our, our bodies show up in terms of their health. It's all about lifestyle, foods, basically, foods and movement, oxygen. We've been led to believe it's a, our health is a medical issue. We've been led to believe that we need, can be medicalized back to health, that it's not true. It's hidden in plain sight. The fact that it's not true is hidden in plain sight. All you got to do is look around you. Look at the diabetes and the autoimmunity and the cancer and the heart disease and the ob- obesity. And uh, By every single measure, we are sick, really sick as a culture. Some 100 million Americans have uh, at least one chronic degenerative disease. Uh-huh. 80 or 70 million Americans have multiple chronic degenerative diseases. One out of four of us. The numbers are staggering. One out of three of us is obese. Cancer affects one out of every two people. And we have more doctors per capita presiding over this disaster, our health gurus, our health experts, than any other culture in the history of mankind. Because health is not about medicine. Health is not about medicine. It's not about being medicalized. It's about how we live our lives, and especially when it comes to nutrition, food, diet, and nutritional supplementation. And that's why we're here. If you have questions about any health challenges you or a loved one is dealing with, and you want to figure out how to integrate a good nutritional lifestyle program to really change your health status or your loved one's health status and change their lives, we're here for you, 844-236-6010. If you want to build a business around these ideas, check out the Longevity products and the Longevity business at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. We have an entire culture built around these ideas that we talk about here every, uh, every day on the Bright Side, and I mean culture, literally a culture. It's a, it's a culture in the sense that... It's a mindset that we all have, those of us who are really participating in the longevity business. And if you have that mindset and you're also uh, an entrepreneur or entrepreneurially minded or you like the entrepreneur lifestyle, you definitely need to check out the longevity business opportunity for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a business. Call 866-735-2470 for more info or sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And then don't forget to check out our Truth Treatment products either at truthtreatments.com, and we have free shipping for the month of December. All right, so we're talking about the halogens. The halogens are the most electrically active or reactive element, or among the most electrically active. There's probably other, other, uh, uh, compound, other elements in the periodic table that are as electrically active. But in any case, they're super, super electrically active. And you don't want to be pouring them in, into the environment, that's for sure. And of all the halogens, the most reactive and the most electrically 
damaging or potentially electrically damaging is the one we're literally dumping into the water supply, and that's fluoride. Usually toxic chemicals are, are an accidental byproduct of industrialization or, or, or manufacturing. This is intentional. <laughs> fluoride is a, a toxin, as an officially approved toxin. It's deadly to cells. Scientists call it a protoplasmic poison. And I just love that term, protoplasmic poison. Protoplasm is the stuff that's inside a cell. It's the soup that's inside a cell. And it's not just soup. It's all these subcellular little tiny structures. That, you know, cell chemistry is pretty darn amazing. And I can, the idea of a cell is just the most absolutely mind-blowing concept of all of science, in all of the universe. It's the ultimate, uh, the ultimate example of divinity, the way I look at it, in terms of biology, the cell how a cell is put together and what a cell is. Nobody knows how they even came about. Yesterday we talked to uh, Dr. Jerry Peterman about these little structures that integrated with a cell to somehow create a, an animal cell and the whole amazing story there. But in any case, within a cell, you got these substructures, these tiny little substructures, hundreds of thousands of them, and they're constantly being broken down and build, built up. Now, how that happens, nobody knows. Literally, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of these little working parts that are broken down and built up, broken down, built up within, inside a cell with some kind of intelligence. That the, the, this thing, it happens perfectly for the most part until poisons are introduced. And that's, what, that's where fluoride comes in. Fluoride is super highly magnetic, super highly reactive. It goes into a cell, it just wreaks havoc, bioelectrical havoc inside a cell. It maims and it kills uh, it destroys, it, it, it uh, renders cells dysfunctional. And this stuff is intentionally put into the environment. We are being intentionally dosed with this toxic substance, w it, even though its ability to disrupt biological functioning is completely recognized and totally well known. This is not disputed. Fluoride is a nasty toxin. Any, uh, in the industri uh, industrial um, uh, pr producers of this stuff know it. The government knows it. Health experts know it. We all know it. It's literally a, a, a biological toxin that, that is dumped into the water. And it's impossible, in my opinion, it's impossible not to think that uh, health challenges, many health challenges, maybe all health challenges, don't at least have some component of fluoride toxicity in them. I'm not saying fluoride causes this or causes that. I'm saying it adds to the toxic load that our bodies have to deal with, that our already stressed out bodies have to deal with. And there's no way that it cannot contribute to our diseases, to our illnesses. And I don't care what it does for your teeth. That's idiotic. That is idiotic to think that it's worth to ha <laughs> It's just mind-blowing that it's worth putting it in the water so you can have stronger teeth given its deadly toxic profile. We talked in the past uh, uh, couple of days, we've been talking about how it came to be that this highly reactive and well-recognized poison somehow could get dumped into the water supply with our permission, with we, the drinkers of the stuff's permission. The government and health authorities and their industrial partners, these are all, these are all you know, they're all in cahoots with each other. They couldn't admit that what they really needed was a place to stash all this waste Fluoride was being produced by the hundreds of, of thousands of tons. Uh, uh, fluoride was being produced in these ridiculously high amounts. I'm not exactly sure how much it was, but it was ridiculously high amounts. They didn't know where to put it. So they created this myth that this stuff is good for us. And we were already set up to believe that toxins would be good for us. We're already set up to believe that by the drug industry. That's a whole other thing. How we got sold this bill of goods that somehow drugs would, that we could get healthier by taking drugs. This is a insidious, nasty meme that flies in the face of rationality and a little bit of sober-minded thought. It's impossible for a drug or a poison to make you better because it's a poison, literally, by definition. But we were already believing that by the drug industry. We are already set up to believe it, so it wasn't that far of a leap that, okay, we can put some fluoride in the water and we'll be healthier, our teeth will be better, and the government, of course, knows best. Anyway, all right. There's all kinds of stuff here. When we come back, we'll talk about uh, some of the real problems associated with fluoride, specifically something called fluorosis. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this.
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we're here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. We'll get your calls at the bottom of the hour, as we always do. If you want to purchase any of our True Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Check out our Retinol 5% Gel made with a big dose of retinol and a big dose of vitamin C. I formulated my Retinol 5% Gel to be equipotent, to have the same potency as your Retin-A, 0.05%. If you're using Retin-A, 0.05%, you definitely want to check out our Retinol 5% Gel. It's the same potency, but it doesn't have any of the nasty stuff that Retin-A has or uh, your generic Retin-A has, and it's got a whole bunch of vitamin C in there as well. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. So we're talking fluoride, fluorine. Fluoride is the active form. The, the, uh, they're essentially the same from an from a elemental level. The active form is, is fluoride. The super active form is fluoride. That's the stuff that was used that, uh, that forms hydrogen fluoride, which is one of the most powerful gases, uh, toxic gases there is. I'm trying to think if they used to use that in World War I when they were doing their chemical warfare. In any case, fluoride and fluorine, it was recognized. I think, I'm pretty sure they were, they were using fluori, fluoride gas. Uh, but in any case, fluoride uh, was accumulating at a really high clip as industrialization proceeded during and post-World War II. There was all this fluoride around. Government didn't know what to do with all the fluoride, so they figured, well, let's see. Hmm, we can... There is some evidence, and this is true, there is some evidence that fluoride can prevent cavities. Interestingly, the, uh, while it helps uh, prevent cavities, it can also uh, cause problems with the cells that make the enamel. So, yeah, it can prevent cavities, but in the long run, it can actually uh, 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 cause browning and spotted teeth. It can actually cause a weakening of the teeth, even though it prevents cavities. It kills the cells that make the enamel. There are special cells that make enamel, and fluoride is a cytotoxin. It kills cells. And among the cells it kills is the, are the cells that make enamel. So, yeah, it might prevent cavities, but the net result is, is model teeth. It's called fluorosis, dental fluorosis. Again, you cannot put something into the body that's poisonous and expect to have a net good result. Even if you, get, even if you manage to control something, that's how drugs work. They'll control something in the body, and they'll say, oh, well, we, we lowered your cholesterol. Or, oh, your, uh, your hemoglobin A1C is dropping because you took your, your um, whatever, metformin or Invokana or whatever they're, doing, whatever they're selling these days. But what they don't tell you is your kidneys are messed up. What they don't tell you is you're running higher risks of other diseases. What they don't tell you is now your body's losing its nutritional resources to detoxify itself. What you're, they're not telling you is you're already, you added it to the burden of an already stressed out system. That's all you need to know. You add to the burden of a stressed out system. That's non-medical, that's common sense. You add to the burden of a stressed out system. Medical is, well, we lowered your cholesterol, so we decreased your risk of a heart attack by 0.3%. Common sense is, I got a stressed out system and now I'm putting poison in, in the body. We don't live by medical dogma, we live by common sense. We live by what, just the way the body works. Poison in, you got a problem. It doesn't matter if you lowered your cholesterol. Poison means problem. Common sense. Poison means problem. I, I've gotten into so many discussions, even arguments with medical professionals about this. But we know we can reduce your risks of a heart attack by 0.6%. But how do they know you're not increasing your risks of liver disease or cancer or kidney disease or any other health challenge? They don't. And then when you uh, uh, factor in all of the different ways we're exposed to these things... Fluoride, 24-7, for most of our lives, for most of us, every day, for most of our lives. Anyway, fluorosis can occur, by the way, in the skeleton as well as in the teeth. This uh, cytotoxic, that's a key word to understand when it comes to all the stuff we're talking about here. Cyto means cell, C-Y-T-O, cell, toxic. Cytotoxicity means death to cells, toxicity to cells, not good. 
All disease is cell disease. We are, at the end of the day, cellular beings. So something cytotoxic, it's not good for us, period. So we don't, we get told that this stuff, oh, well, it'll strengthen your enamel and it will, it will uh, uh, make your teeth more resistant to sugar. But what we don't get told is that the stuff is cytotoxic. Even in the tiniest of concentrations, it can kill cells. Even in the tiniest of concentrations. And by the way, we're talking here about industrial waste fluoride. I'm not talking about colloidal fluoride, the stuff that's in the soil, the stuff that's a nutritional element. I'm not talking about colloidal or nutritional uh, fluoride. That's an essential element. That is an essential nutrient. What I'm talking about is industrial waste fluoride. And we've got to distinguish this. Periodically, we we'll talk about this on the program, how there's different kinds of minerals. There's industrial waste minerals, and there's colloidal natural minerals that are found in nature and in the soil and in plants. These are two different animals. The kind of fluoride we're talking about here is industrial waste fluoride that is dumped into the water supply, not the colloidal fluoride that is, uh, that's nutritional. This toxic stuff kills cells, enamel-making cells. And they're called, by the way, ameloblasts, A-M-E-L-O-B-L-A-S-T. That's a cell that makes enamel. And they only live in kids, these ameloblasts. They're, they're a, child, um, a childhood cell. So this dental fluorosis that occurs when we're in adults, is, it, it usually occurs after damage. We had damage during childhood. And it's also a problem for, uh, for kids as they're developing. The last thing you want to do is kill your ameloblast, your, your enamel-making cells, as, your, as the teeth are developing. And just as fluoride affects the ameloblast, it can also affect the cells that make collagen in your bone. And they can also affect, uh, and you get a modeling of the bone. You get, a, you get yellowing, your modeling of the teeth is the yellow fleck, little flecks of yellow and weak spots, and the same thing can happen to the bone. And it can happen in the skin too. In fact, uh, it can, there are cells called fibroblasts, which are like the holy grail of anti-aging skin care. Fibroblasts make fibers. They're the bulk of the skin, or they, they form the bulk of the skin, I should say. The fibroblast is why I created my truth treatment products, to activate the fibroblast. Don't be intimidated by that word, because if you're in, using skin care products, that's a word you want to know. Fibro, F-I-B-R-O, fibro, like fibers. And blast, whenever you hear blast at the end of a, the word of a cell, it means like a little factory. A blast cell is a cell that makes things. Osteo means bone. Osteoblasts make bone. Myo, that's muscle. Myoblasts make muscle. Fibroblasts make fibers. And they're in the skin, and they make collagen, and they keep you from getting wrinkles and fine lines. And activating the fibroblast is the ultimate holy grail of topical skin care, and it's why I created my truth treatment products, activating the fibroblast. On the other hand, damaging the fibroblast is the last thing you want to do, and fluoride is anti-fibroblast. Fluoride disrupts the fibroblast like it does any other cell. And this is where you get your dental fluorosis, your uh, skeletal fluorosis, your dental fluorosis is a little bit different, but it's the same idea, and then also uh, skin problems. Guess what? We wash our face with fluoride every day. We wash our bodies with fluoride every day. What do you think over the course of years and decades and a lifetime of washing your face with fluoride two, three times a day, washing your body with fluoride, you know, daily or every other day, whenever you take a shower? You don't think that's going to have, accumulate and have a, be a cause of accelerated aging? Well, guess what? There's something you could do after you wash your face with fluoride, fluoride-laden tap water. And I'll tell you what that is when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Got lines open, 844-236-6010. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you if you have questions about the thyroid or fluoride or fluoride toxicity or health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, or if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team off our websites as well. And we do have a search engine up at brightsideben.com and also benfuchsarchives.com with all our programs archived. If you miss a program or want to review a program, benfuchsarchives.com as well as brightsideben.com 
have uh, have uh, our archive and they also have search engines up. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com. We've got free shipping for the month of December. Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Never Any Preservatives, Fragrances, Fillers, Waxes, Emulsifiers, Silicon Water, Oil, Nothing Your Skin Doesn't Need or Doesn't Want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. Okay, so we're talking fluoride here, nasty stuff. You know, a teaspoon of fluoride will kill you. A teaspoon of sodium fluoride is deadly. And I know it's only in trace amounts in the water supply, but nobody has any way of knowing how much you're drinking, or nobody has any way of knowing how much fluoride you're getting from food. Remember, you're getting fluoride in your Twinkies. You're getting fluoride in your uh, ham sandwich. <laughs> Everything we eat has fluoride in it. <laughs> Can you name a food that doesn't somehow have water involved? You know, water that came from the environment where it's raining fluoride rain, or water that came from the soil, which contains all kinds of uh, uh, toxic fluorides, industrial fluoride from, from water. As plants are growing, as uh, they're accumulating fluoride, the tomatoes are accumulating fluoride, the grain is accumulating fluoride, the animals that eat the grain is, are accumulating fluoride, we eat the animals that, that, that are eating the fluoride grain. I mean, it's everywhere. How, nobody has any idea what the impact of fluoride toxicity is. And every time you wash your face, by the way, you're interacting with fluoride or take a shower. In fact, that's why after you wash your face, you want to use vitamin C on your skin. Vitamin C is one of the most protective nutrients, protective uh, anti-fluoride compounds you can ever use, internally as well as externally. Vitamin C is ridiculously detoxifying. If you're looking for a detox program, look no further than vitamin C. And the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, by the way, is loaded with vitamin C. Okay, it's got more to talk about with fluoride, fluorine, fluoride. We'll talk about how it relates to skin health a little bit. We'll do that uh, on our coming breaks. Uh, we'll also talk about how you can eliminate fluoride or at least reduce your, reduce your uh, exposure to fluoride because even though it's everywhere, there are things we can do to reduce, reduce our interfacing with this very toxic substance. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. Hang on. If you're on hold, we'll get to you in just a moment. A couple uh, interesting stories here. This one is from the journal Nature Chemical Biology. Taurine lends a hand to repair cells damaged in multiple sclerosis. New research suggests that administering taurine, a molecule naturally uh, produced by human cells, I don't think that's correct, actually. I think taurine's essential. Maybe i got to look that up. Um, yeah, I, I guess uh, i got to look that up. That's interesting. Could boost the effectiveness of current uh, multiple sclerosis therapies. Scientists at Scripps Research Institute, Institute found that taurine helps spark a process called remyelinization, that is remyelinating the nerves. Taurine is incredibly important for all the electrical systems of the body. It's hard to find if you're a vegetarian because it's an it's, uh, not hard to find. You can't get it if you're a vegetarian because it's only meat. It's only found in animal products. Tor means bull, taurus, the bull, taurine. It was originally found in bile. It's a component of bile. You can't find taurine in vegetables. If you're a vegetarian, use supplemental taurine. If you have a cat, your cat can't make taurine. Uh, and uh, taurine deficiencies in cats are, is a big problem, especially if your cat has neurological problems. Taurine is majorly important for neurology. Taurine is a really interesting amino acid. You'll see it in Red Bull. Taurine is, uh, has got a reputation for, for being energizing for the heart. And also stabilizing. It's used to treat seizure disorders. Super important amino acid. Now we find out that it can help repair cells damaged in multiple sclerosis. More on taurine. Taurine ameliorates renal oxidative damage and thyroid dysfunction in rats chronically exposed to fluoride. That's a mouthful right there, but basically what it tells you is taurine can help you if you're dealing with fluoride exposure, especially if you have kidney problems associated with it. That's another thing. The kidneys are, we'll talk about this tomorrow, the kidneys eliminate fluoride, which means that if you have kidney disease, you're at higher risk for fluoride toxicity because you won't be eliminating the fluoride as effectively. And it also means that uh, if you're already prone to kidney damage because you're a diabetic and you're drinking lots of tap water, now you're especially likely to have kidney problems. Nobody tells you that, but you won't, you'll have good teeth. You'll have a nice smile. You won't have cavities. Lunacy. Absolute craziness. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's 
hit the phones and go to Oregon and say good morning to Mary. Is this my friend Mary? Are you going to yell at me, Mary? Absolutely not, Ben. Okay. <laughs> don't be mad I, now, Mary. My, um, I'm a sensitive I, guy, Mary. Don't, don't be mean to me on the, on the air or anything. I would never do that, Ben. Okay. All right. All right. So yes. um, I'm with you. I do not believe in markers, but I have another friend who... Uh, what do you mean by markers? Um, explain yourself. Oh, well, in this particular case, the guy's going to be talking about AMPK signaling and GLUT2 expression. Oh, my God. What is he, what is he, is he diabetic and they're measuring his, uh, his peptides or something, his kidney peptides? Um, see, you're the one that knows that. I just know that, yes, he was He's, diabetic. Yeah. He went on the keto diet to get rid of it. Yeah. He's decided that metformin is a good thing to use to increase his That's, uh, you know, he's not alone. He's not alone. That is the latest thing about metformin. And by the way, metformin, because it helps stabilize blood sugar, is being used as an anti-aging supplement. They call it a supplement. Anti-aging drug to slow down aging. Because of, it, lowers the sugar, it lowers blood sugar, improves the body's ability to handle sugar. But it does it at a cost. It jacks up it's the cells that make insulin. The cells that make these things, the cells that make chemicals, make molecules, they don't want to be forced or compelled to do things uh, pharmacologically. They want to be responsive to the environment. This is the whole idea of, of, of violating cell intelligence. This is, the whole, this is where side effects and toxicity come, come in. We are violating cellular intelligence. Cellular intelligence means that the cell is constantly responsive. It's constantly responding to the environment. It's constantly making things or not making things depending on the environment it's sitting in. When we take a drug, we violate that. We say, look, you are dumb cell. We're going to make you do this. Forget the environment. We're in charge here. That's what a drug says. We're in charge here. And there is always going to be a price to, pay, to be paid. The body will say, uh-huh, okay, you're in charge. We'll let you be here in charge here for a little bit because the body is very humble and very shy and quiet. But eventually, the body will punish us. And that's what we call toxicity and side effects. And what we don't notice is, is what we don't notice is, is how it's going to shorten our life. And we can't make the causal link between a shorter life and drugs. But common sense tells you it will do it. Yeah, you can't. There's no studies and there's no, you know, scientific clinical evidence. But common sense tells it tells you you cannot get better by introducing a poison into the body. It's never going to be good for you. All right, I'm pharmacist Ben. Got to take a break. A four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Hang on, Mary. We'll finish up when we come back. KDR. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. A four four two three six. 6010 is our number. We're talking to Mary. Did I answer your question there, Mary, or did I digress too much? Oh, no, uh, but there is a, one other thing he thinks, and I think it's incorrect. He thinks that by using that metformin, he will increase his GLUT2 expression, which will reduce the amount of glucose his own liver exposes his body to. What do you think okay. about that? Well, yeah, but what, at what cost? He's going to kill, he's gonna have to tox out his liver cells to do that. And probably his pancreatic cells to do that. Yeah, he may lower his numbers. That, that's my point. That's why I don't go by markers or test scores. Yeah, you might lower your A1C or your, 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 your uh, liver markers or whatever your enzymes are. You may lower those, but at what cost? If you do it pharmacologically and compel the cells and compel the body to, to lower these numbers, what's going to end up happening is you're going to disrupt the very delicate cell chemistry of the cells that are doing these things. And you're going to end up with toxicity, cell toxicity. You cannot help but end with cell toxicity. The numbers aren't the problem. The numbers are just markers. The problem is what's going on inside the body, and that cannot be measured by markers. That can only be measured by how you feel, by your symptoms. You go by your symptoms, not your markers. You can make the blood pressure go down. I mean, you're using some complicated markers. Let's use simple markers, okay? Blood pressure. You can make your blood pressure drop, but you have to poison the heart to do it. You, do you understand what I'm saying? You can make oh, these numbers completely. change, but you have to poison the liver to do it. So it's brain dead. Does it make sense? Am I missing something here, Mary? No, is I'm it, in is it just a crazy... 
But aside from your agreement, aside from that, is this just not the craziest thing ever, this idea that you can somehow get better, be better by taking a drug it, simply because it lowers a number, an arbitrary number, by the way, and a number that, whose reference ranges are determined statistically. Nobody knows what's a good number for you. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows what a good ideal number for a person is. And by the way, not only does every person have their own ideal numbers, every hour of the day you have your own ideal numbers. You're the ideal numbers fluctuate throughout the day. So there's no way you can determine what's appropriate for somebody in terms of a marker, what level is appropriate for somebody in terms of a marker based on um, statistics. You have to go by the symptoms of that person. You have to understand biochemistry and biology, and that's what doctors don't understand. They understand clinical chemistry. You know, they understand that cl clinical chemistry is the chemistry of test scores. That's fine. They, they got that down because all you got to do is go to a book and look it up. But they don't understand biochemistry or, bio, or for that matter, biology to the, to, to the extent where they can hear somebody's symptoms and look at them and determine what they need to have done. And it's never going to be anything pharmacologically if you look at the body as a biological system because you'll know you never want to put a poison into a biological system. Mayor, I'm going to motivate here. I hope I helped you out. Thanks so much oh, for your call. Ben? Yes. Are you still having that show yes. with Sherry Edwards on Sunday? She never called me, she never called me back. I mean, she well, never contacted me. Well, she, they told she, me you were going to be on Sunday. Okay. I was oh, is that Sherry call. Edwards? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was thinking Sherry Rogers. No, Sherry Edwards, that's a good point. I will be on. How do you know Sherry Edwards? Oh, uh, I listened to her. Okay. Uh, well, on uh, what Ashley James' podcast. Ashley James has a podcast, too? Yes. Oh, my goodness. I know Ashley. I think I, if it's the same yes, Ashley. Yes, you know Ashley. <laughs> I, I know Ashley. Okay. Yeah. Um, but anyway, she... so let's plug you. You're going to be okay. on. Okay. I will Sunday. plug it. I'll be on Sunday. I, I, you know, I don't have the information, but it's on Sunday at 10 a.m., a Mountain Standard Time, but I don't know how to access it. I don't have any of the access information. Do you know? Well, anybody that wants to access it can go to soundhealthoptions.com and go to the radio tab and click under that, and all the information will be there under one of their shows. I think it's Blog Talk Radio Show. Okay, it's good. Thank you down. for that. I appreciate that, Mary. Thanks for the plug. Thank you. Okay, have a great day. Good to talk to you. Bye. All right, 844-236-6010. Let's go to Darlene in Indiana. Hey, Darlene, good morning. Good morning. Do you Let's have go. any advice for uh, glaucoma? Glaucoma is part of something called metabolic syndrome. Have you ever heard that term, metabolic syndrome? No. That's, no. A blood, that's just messed up blood sugar. Glaucoma equals messed up blood sugar. Glaucoma is when the tiny little... In your eyes, you have these valves that open and close, and they open up to drain fluid. And when those right. valves get damaged from sugar, mostly, other things, but largely, it seems largely from sugar because of the connection between diabetes and the messed up blood sugar and glaucoma. Uh, when, those, when those little valves get damaged, they don't open and close correctly, the, the fluid builds up. That's basically glaucoma. It is, does that make sense? Did, do you understand how okay. I said that? Okay, yeah. so you got to figure out why why those cells are getting damaged, and it's always going the first thing's gonna always gonna be sugar. It's the triangle of disease, classic example. Now you're gonna want to work with food. You're gonna want to work with um, uh, the whole adrenal thyroid thing that we've been talking about. But first and foremost, sugar. Nobody just okay. has glaucoma. Is it for you or a friend or somebody you know, a loved one? No, I've had it for about ten years. Okay, you don't have trouble. just glaucoma. You don't have just no. glaucoma. Glaucoma is like. It's like the disease has. It, it's like there's a disease tree. Glaucoma is one leaf on the disease tree. There's many okay. other things. You've got to have blood pressure problems, heart problems, sugar problems, probably weight issues. You may have had issues. You sound like you're. Can you turn that? Turn your radio down, ma'am. I can turn it off. Yeah, turn it off. Turn your radio off because I was getting an echo. Okay, it's off. So, uh, hello. Okay. It's so uh, um, got lost my train of thought here. So you gotta you gotta focus on the entire system. Chances are you're in your 60s. Am I guessing right? <laughs> no, I'm 80. Oh well, God bless you. That's awesome. So <laughs> thank you. So I don't you have know, other problems that I know of. No, well it could be bro well you definitely do that you know, that you know of because nobody just has glaucoma. The body breaks down as a system. But if you're 80, 
you, God bless you, you know? I mean, all of our bodies are going to break down. That's not too shabby. Is that, if that's the only thing that's going on that you, it's noticeable, uh, you're not doing too bad. Nonetheless, it does not occur. Uh, I don't know why we have this uh, horrible echo here, Jason, if you could help me out with that. Um, nonetheless, uh, uh, you'd be well advised to start focusing on other things. First of all, I'd be keeping my blood sugar. Most importantly, I'd be doing everything I could do to keep my blood sugar under control. That means, uh, uh, obviously, re re uh, keeping your intake of these kinds of, of foods that spike your blood sugar down, bread, pasta, potatoes, desserts, sweets, etc. Easier said than done, but at least as best as you can. And then start using nutrients that help your body process sugar. Sweeties from Longevity is like a superstar for helping your body process sugar. Ultimate Niacin from Longevity. Ultimate Selenium from Longevity. Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Use Cinnamon. Cinnamon is one of the all-time great spices for, blood, for a lot of things, but it's for blood sugar. Cinnamon will also amp up the sweet taste so you can use less sugar. If you're cooking or you're putting uh, you know, sugar in your coffee or wherever, if you put cinnamon in there, it will give you, it'll bump up the sweet taste of the sugar and you won't need as much sugar. Uh, and go, spices in general are a good idea. A great strategy for helping wean yourself off of sugar is to use lots of spices. Um, let's see what else here, ma'am, I could tell you. Um, you. If you have any kind of issues with your gut, uh, the microbiome is extremely important. Diabetes is an intestinal disease. I've been saying it for years. You're going to hear it more and more and more. Diabetes starts at the level of the gut, the microbiome, the intestine, the digestive system. Diabetes is a secondary issue following a messed up digestive system. And that's so fundamental and it's so misunderstood and it costs us so much misery because of all the things that are associated with poor blood sugar control cancer, heart disease, glaucoma, obesity, high blood pressure, lack of libido, lack of creativity and fertility. All of these are associated with pro uh, amputations, blindness, neuropathies. All of these are associated with messed up blood sugar. Messed up blood sugar itself follows a messed up digestive system. It's always going to come back to the triangle of disease. Always, always, always. In fact, it's always going to come down to the two bottom points on the triangle of disease, the digestive system and the blood sugar system. I don't know how much simpler it could be. Digestion, digestive system means food and keeping, uh, making sure that our digestive system is operating and firing on all cylinders. The blood sugar means not overloading the blood sugar system and using nutrients that help the body process sugar. If you just do those two things, if you just work on the digestive system and you uh, uh, focus on blood sugar, uh, controlling blood sugar, if you just do those two things, there's not a single chronic degenerative disease that will not begin to improve. If you throw in a good nutritional supplement program, 100% guarantee you are going to feel better. You are going to be have more energy. You're going to have more joie de vivre. You're going to feel like living more. You're going to be able to move your body better without a drug and without a doctor, simply from the comfort of your own kitchen and living room. And that's the bright side. That's the good news. All right. Thanks for listening, friends. I hope I helped you. I hope I helped you out there, Darlene. I know I rambled on a little bit there. If you want to uh, check out our Truth Skin Health products, make sure you go to truthtreatments.com. Got free shipping for you for the month of December. And please check out all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can have your own longevity business. You can also call 866-735-2470. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.